Hello guys, in this video we will be talking about the rickettsia. So rickettsia is one of the most important topic if you consider either from the micro aspect or the PSM aspect. If you might have seen in your INI CET exam this year guys, two to three questions were from rickettsia guys. We will also be discussing uh, that questions and how to make rickettsia super easy so that you guys don't confuse in the exam. What are the important MCQs that can be made that are given at the end of the class. Okay, so that will be provided in the form of a PDF. So please join the telegram channel with the help of the link so that you can uh, try solving those questions guys. Let's get started with the rickettsia guys. See, first of all, this is the scary table that everyone finds for Rikatsha. Like, how do you remember this scary table for Rikatsha, guys? Okay. So, see, it's very easy. I'll try to, I'll try to make it easy so that you guys can remember it. You don't forget it now, this Rikatsha table. Okay. So, first of all, see, Rikatsha is uh, divided into groups, guys. Okay. So, basically, you, you have the typhus group. You have the spotted group and you have the others, guys. Okay. So, see, this is basically the groups. You have the typhus group okay you have the spotted fever group and you have the other so uh, so see all the organism that have typhus in the uh, name uh, belongs to the typhus group see epidemic typhus this murine typhus is also known as endemic typhus and you have scrub typhus typhus is there is the name now coming on to the spotted fever group what does this indicate means there are rash or some spots are there okay so the name is spotted fever group that is indentic typhus rocky mountain spotted fever and uh, you have rickett shell box remember basically rash wala thing rocky mountain rash rickett shell rash and indentic typhus uh, rash wala theek hai then others you have two thing guys that is ot oh you can remember qt okay others is ot remember qt o can be made into q that is q fever and trench fever okay now remembering the organism that causes what okay so see that is very simple i will make it easy okay so what are the organisms see if you talk about epidemic typhus okay epidemic that is guys prova zaki if you talk about murine typhus how will you remember that the uh, this is uh, endemic only remember men that is murine is endemic okay and men wear a tie that is typhi the men wears a tie that is typhi okay now coming on to the scrub typhus a scrub typhus that is susu gamushi susu gamushi t is silent here guys okay now coming on to the spotted fever group so you have indentic typhus in india corona is corona was spread everywhere sometime back that is konori now coming on to rocky mountain spotted fever so if you try if you try to walk on a rocky mountain you should have a good muscle strength so rickets that that one who has rickets it's difficult for them to climb that is rickets see remember like this then you have pox so how i remember pox is like a pack okay box which you have packed it yeah that is pack that is a pack that is a curry okay now coming on to the q fever so q fever is very important that is coxella brunetti and you have trench fever so remember trench that is uh, Rochilema Quintana. Okay, so I think this helps you remember now coming on to the vectors. Okay, so vectors, how do you remember? Remember the mnemonic if you see, guys, flea you have only at one place. Okay, so remember F E N. Okay, that is, guys, flea is for endemic typhus. Okay, and you can, and we have also mnemonic men that is murine endemic typhus is also known as murine typhus, and men wear a tie that is. Uh, the Rikatsia Typhi. Now coming on to the Laos. See guys. Laos we have at two places guys. So the mnemonic is later. Okay. So how do you remember later? Okay. That is uh, that is C. If you see later. That is uh, TR guys. That is trench fever. Okay. And E. E guys is basically the epidemic typhus. Because in the FEN mnemonic. Endemic was already done. So that is epidemic. Please don't confuse that is epidemic and FEN wala flea, endemic, FEN name only coming EN that is endemic. So this later wala will be epidemic wala thing. Okay, now coming on to the mite wala thing. See, for mite remember the mnemonic PSM, M is for mite, okay, P is for pox and S is for scrub. Now let's see if the mnemonic matches it. Scrub typhus is the guys, mite wala thing. Now coming on to the mite wala thing that is rickettsia pox okay rickettsia pox and uh, you have another thing with the mite now coming on to the trick wala thing so what do you have a tick guys okay so tick uh, remember like a tri 
okay you keep trying so that is uh, rocky mountain spotted fever and indian tick typhus okay so how you can remember it like how you can remember all the mnemonic okay so basically what is there uh, we have a mnemonic one mnemonic was the fan wala mnemonic guys and one was the tri wala and you have a later wala mnemonic so this three let uh, three things we got from our mnemonic guys okay see uh flea wala for guys was for endemic f e n that was endemic typhus also known as guys f e n m e n that is murin typhus now coming on to the tick wala okay so tick that is rocky mountain spotted fever and endemic typhus okay now coming on to the later that is laus so laus what you have t r that is trench fever okay and endemic has already been done so means this is a epidemic okay so how you can remember guys okay so basically basically uh, this rickettsia okay so this rickettsia uh, rickettsia is a superstar and this fan are trying to catch uh, take a selfie so th this rickettsia uh, rickettsia fan okay try later okay try later to take a selfie with rickettsia okay it's uh, not so easy to take a selfie with rickettsia like it's not so easy to remember rickettsia but we need to because it's important and its importance has been shown by inict exam so you cannot miss it out it's so important okay i think uh, the hope this helps you remember the rickettsia wala thing now see we'll see the causative organism guys okay if we talk about if we talk about the causative organism of each of these okay so indentic typhus what is india Co uh, corona was spread that is konodi rocky mountain spotted fever if you want to climb a mountain you should not have rickets that is rickets see okay then trench fever guys that is rocheliama quintana okay then you have then you have uh, this epidemic wala typhus okay so this epidemic typhus this laus if you have infection by laus lice what is that it provocates in your head that is that is p you can even prova zaki okay and the other thing guys that is left for you guys is the is the guys endemic typhus that is man trying to wear a tie okay so this is basically tie guys okay man is trying to wear the tie that is that is it is typhi okay and the most important thing that you come here this is a must know thing this is uh this is uh, you cannot dare to forget it this is a mcq guys okay q fever remember q fever q remember like this mujhe q kuch chahiye i am self satisfied that is it does not have either rash and it does not have any vector okay remember like this mujhe kyun chahiye i am self satisfied okay so you can see it's here the nail thing means it does not require any vector for this transmission okay and we and we forgot the other wala mnemonic that was psm wala mnemonic okay that is mite for mite what do you have guys that you have pox and you have scrub typhus guys okay like uh, taking taking selfie with psm is also so difficult come remembering psm so re you can remember like uh, sir rickettsia and uh, psm are, are very difficult and a fan is trying to take selfie so it's telling try later okay so i think this helps you remember it guys okay so scrub typhus was due to orensia shushugamu see and pox was like a you pack a box that is a kari pack that is a kari okay so i think this helps you uh, remember the entire rickettsial disease with the help of mnemonic i think see now coming on to uh, now we'll see this table guys okay ki what we have missed out guys okay and what are the things we need to add up on see scrap typhus uh, rickettsia shushugamushi done murin or endemic typhus typhi done indentic typhus guys konodi done see okay, india corona epidemic typhus guys that came into which mnemonic guys uh, flea it will not come because f e n that means it will come under laus So laus is provocative. That is prova zaki. Box pack a box. That is a kari. Rocky Mountain rickets wala thing. And Q fever is due to coxella brunetti. And it does not have any rash. And it does not have any vector. See guys, there is no rash. And guys, there is no vector. So this is very important. And no shard also, guys. See, you can see. See now we need to know guys reservoir see uh, insect vector we have already done guys like we'll take example of pox pox p s m that is it was mite we'll take about indian tick typhus t r i try that is tick wala thing you can see you can try uh, we have done this guys okay now the important thing is where are the ishar present guys okay so basically what are the ishar guys and where are ishar seen guys okay so see 
basically scar as what uh, you ha you have a blackish uh, discoloration i have an image for the guys and surrounding you have a reddish rhythma okay so this was the question uh, during this ini ct exam guys okay ini ct 2022 this is scrap type as well a question okay so what happens here guys now uh, you have a scar present here guys okay this indentic typhus may also show a scar okay guys this then you have a scar in rickett shell box and rocky mountain spotted fever okay so these are the places where where you may see a scar did, did you see a, a thing guys all the three guys the spotted fever while the thing are showing a scar rocky mountain pox and indentic typhus and one that is scrub typhus remember is scrub that is scrub scr it looks like a scar do you see a scar okay now coming on to the rash guys we need to remember guys which one of the following has a centrifugal rash which one has a centripetal rash guys okay so see if you talk about the centripetal centrifugal means what guys uh centrifugal means in the beach mein, okay and centripetal means uh, away guys okay so if you think about the rash guys i have further classified the rash okay in uh, in the photo okay so see rocky mountain spotted fever is the centripetal so you can remember pad wala rash okay uh pedal paddle is pedal that is guys in the extreme it is also how can you remember it guys when you climb a mountain you need your leg strength that is your extreme it is okay so that is centripetal rest every place is a centrifugal i think the this does not confuse you so if it is in the extreme it is it's centripetal and if it is uh, elsewhere on the trunk and all it's centrifugal so now if you think about the treatment guys all the one that belong to typhus wala group what was three typhus wala group epidemic endemic and scrub typhus see what is the treatment that is tetra and spotted fever group it's doxy i think this makes it so easy i think you won't confuse now okay see this is the most common scrub typhus because this is the why it is frequently repeated guys scrub typhus or insha sushugamoshi sushugamoshi triangle why because this is the most common and most common things are frequently repeated guys okay so this so this was uh, about this table okay now we'll further see so this was also question for this ini ct okay this was a question for ini ct 2022 okay this was a question so they ask you like uh, which one of the following was causing l ratio so see you have two things guys okay you have human monocyte monocyte ill uh ill uh okay and you have guys anaplasma phagocytophilum okay so if they ask about anaplasma that is phagocytum wala and see and if they ask about monocyte that that is guys illretia shafenis okay shafensis okay so this is important guys this was asked this year also guys okay and here also the vector is tick guys okay see now we have already done the classification of rickett shell disease well uh this way are the mnemonics guys please revise this mnemonic this are must know thing you cannot dare to forget it okay this are must know before going for any exam see this is the similar table that we have already done now coming on to the some uh, general properties of rickettsia if, if we talk about okay see so this rickettsia are small obligate intracellular parasite guys which are gram negative bacteria and they stain poorly with gram stain so we have a stain known as james i stain guys this is very important okay and you can have either uh, arthropod like flea leaves uh, ticks and mite remember for lice the mnemonic was later for flea the mnemonic was f e n fleas for endemic typhus for ticks it was mnemonic was rocky mountain spotted fever and indian tick typhus and for mite the mnemonic was p s m pox and scrub typhus belonging to mite group i think you can recall it guys try to learn this mnemonic it would make your job very easy guys so see what are the clinical features that which uh, rickettsial or uh, disease patient present to you so they will have skin lesion and i said q fever q is mujhe q hi chahiye i am self sufficient it has no rash it has no fever it has no scar and you may have other constitutional symptom like he headache fever malaise and other things and tetracycline is the drug of choice for all rickettsial typhus wala group and for spotted wala group guys it's none other than doxy so tetra and doxycycline are the use for the treatment of this group see now coming on to the ashkar so this was one of the photo that was showed this year in the inict 2022 okay the exam that took place just two days ago okay you can see the recall question that i have uploaded guys okay so see 
what is there in the center you have a typical black scab okay which looks like a mark of the cigarette burn okay so basically this is ashkar okay so we'll see where all ashkar are thing and what is the most common cause of ashkar because most common cause of rickettsia is the scrub typhus wall organism so that was asked in this exam now coming on to the complication usually the complication are seen usually after the first week of infection and this can cause complication like jaundice pneumonia ards guys so remember pneumonia is one of the most frequent complication of scrub typhus and if not treated guys this can manifest as acute respiratory distress syndrome so this is important guys now come now guys come there is no vector for q fever we have already discussed this point guys okay see and this mnemonics are already discussed this is printed so that guys it makes it easy loss remember later okay that is epidemic typhus and trench fever caused by rochilema quintana or bartolena quintana and laus is provocative so provazaki so fly flea flea that is endemic typhus and men men wears a tie okay so that is guys uh that is typhi now coming on guys to the tri wala organism that is trick that is rickettsia mountain uh, sp rocky mountain spotted fever by rickettsi an indentic typhus india corona that is conodi okay now guys coming on to the next one that is psm wala or you can remember it as SPM. Scrub typhus is by Shushugamosi. And pox like pa pack a box. Okay, box pack that is Akari. Okay, that is by might. Okay. Now coming on to the individual one, guys. That is epidemic typhus. First remember this mnemonic. Where does it fit? Epidemic. Flea cannot fit. That is endemic. So this is later wala mnemonic will fit, guys. Okay. Another one was the trench fever wala. So remember guys, this is a uh, this is the rickettsial disease, guys. Okay, and this is an important MCQ. If there is a recrudescence, this is known as Brill Jensen's disease. So this is important MCQ, guys. Okay, see, causative agent already done, guys. Prova Zaki. Vector already done, Laos, guys. Mode by uh, mode of transmission is basically by the scratching and inoculation, not by the Laos bite. Okay, and drug of choice again, it belongs to the typhus group. Typhus is tetracycline. And spotted is spotted dog. You can remember spotted is doxycycline. Okay, guys. See now. Come, uh, so this was the same thing that that we saw, guys. Okay. Uh, see if we talk about the incubation period of of the epidemic wala typhus, guys. Okay. So basically, this is five to fifteen days. And you have a characteristic thing that is rash occurs on fifth day, guys. Okay. So you have a mnemonic that fever with rash, guys. Okay. So what is the mnemonic, guys? The mnemonic is very sick people must take double tablet. So V is for varicella. Okay, that is basically chicken box wala thing. S matlab for scarlet fever, guys. Okay. P and P is for pox. That is small pox, guys. Okay. Then M is for measles, guys. Okay. T is for typhus. So typhus belongs to this the fifth day wala group. Okay. So same thing will be seen in epidemic typhus, same in endemic typhus, and same in uh, scrub typhus. Double is dengue. That is day six. And typhoid tablet wala is typhoid. That is day seven, guys. Okay, uh, so this recrudescence form have, we have already talked about, guys. Okay, and you can have anti louse measure, which is not important, just 1% malathion is used from PSM aspect. Now, guys, coming on to the endemic typhus that is FEN. Okay, guys, that is also men, 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 uh, okay, that is murine typhus, guys. Okay, and this uh, endemic typhus, guys, or the flea borne typhus or the mu uh, murine typhus. Okay, see, this is caused by Rickettsia typhi. Why? Because men wear a tie. That is typhi, also known as Rickettsia muzori. Okay, reservoir is the rat here, guys. Okay, so this is mode of transmission is by guys the by the rat flea. That is Xenopsella chiopis, but not through bite, guys. Okay, and this Will Felix reaction, if we talk about it, becomes positive. In that I have talked about Will Felix and drug of choice again. It is a typhus group, guys. Hence it's tetracycline. Okay. So I think uh, this is the same thing and this is a table taken from the PSM wala book guys okay so they can uh, show you this photo guys okay that is red flea flea if you see guys that is endemic typhus and it is transmitted uh, not by the uh, through the rat flea guys you can see guys okay so if they ask you a table to identify you can identify this easily guys okay and see clinical features resemble the ep epidemic typhus but slightly milder than those guys okay and will felix becomes positive in the second week guys tetracycline treatment okay now coming on to the rocky mountain spotted fever okay so this uh, this comes to the spotted wala group guys it was discovered by st rickets what was the name hence D it is due to rickets okay and 
दिस वेक्टर गाइज एक्चुअली इट इज द टिक गाइज ओके वॉट वॉज द निमोनिक टी आर आई रॉकी माउंटेन एंड इंडियन टिक टाइफस बट रिमेंबर दिस नेम दे कैन आस्क यू गाइज दिस कैन बी टेस्टेड गाइज दैट इज इट इज डरमा सेंटर एंडर सोनी सो दिस कैन बी टिक वैक्टर नेम कैन बी टेस्टेड गाइज ओके एंड दिस इज बेसिकली द टिक गाइज दैट यू सी इन द फोटो ओके सी सो द इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड एंड ऑल आर नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट रॉकी माउंटेन फीवर इज दैट डैश अपियर ऑन द एक्सट्रीमिटीज मीन्स इट विल फर्स्ट वेन यू क्लाइंब अ माउंटेन गाइज क्लाइंबिंग अ माउंटेन वॉट यू यू कीप योर लेग्स हियर गाइज ओके सो द रैश अपियर्स ऑन द एक्सट्रीमिटीज गाइज ओके एंड एंड द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस इज आई द टेट्रा और डॉक्सी इज स्लाइटली मोर प्रेफर्ड गाइज वाई बिकॉज इट बिलोंग्स टू द स्पॉटेड वाला ग्रुप Now, guys, coming on to the scrub typhus. The important thing that has can be asked, guys, that its larva is known as the chigus. Hence, this scrub typhus is also known as chigarosis. This can be asked as a MCQ in your further exam. This has not been tested, but I guess this can be tested further. Now, guys, coming on to the scrub typhus. Okay, this is the most wide spread. Okay, scrub typhus is the spread wala disease, guys. Okay, and most common wala disease. Okay, see. This causative agent is Rickettsia shushugamushi, and vector that is important, guys. It is the mite. But what is the name of complete mite in PSM? Well, a mnemonic, guys. Scrub typhus. That is Strombicluid mite, and you have two two species. That is Leptothrombidium del delinesi and Lepto Leptothrombidium akamushi, guys. Okay, shushugamushi. That is akamushi, guys. How to remember the incubation period for scrub typhus? Scrub typhus, guys, everything is important. If you count the letter, guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is eleven letter, guys. And what is the incubation period? Ten to twelve days. I think it makes it easy. The most important thing, guys, is the presence of a H card. H card. Okay. That is, it is a punched out ulcer. Covered with a blackened scar, guys. It indicates the location of the mite bite. This was a question in this I N I C E T twenty twenty eight. So I cannot emphasize it more, guys. It's so important, and it's strongly positive with O X K. You can remember the mnemonic of scrub. You can remember like this S K R U B instead of S C R U B. That makes it remember that is O X K positive, and like this was a image based question, guys. Okay. So this larva, this chigus, which I said, they fed on the vertebrate host and pick up rickettsia. So this larval stage, that is chigus, act as both reservoir and a vector. Important thing, guys. Okay. See, so this was a uh, and uh, one important thing is, guys, here this can be asked as a short note in your in your second year MBBS exam if any second year MBBS student is watching it, guys. Okay. And see, trans ovarian maintenance of infection helps in uh, spread of infection. This was important here, guys. And this is the table. If you see, guys, you have rats and mice in between, guys. And you and you and guys, uh, you have mite here, guys. So this makes it uh, a transmission cycle of this. And here also again, you will have guys uh, rash on fifth day. Wala thing, same thing here because it is again a typhus wala group, guys. So this is a scrub typhus. If you want to see na like a. Uh, pictorial representation it is transmitted by mites known as chigus dun caused by orinsha shushugamushi dun it is a maculopapular rash dun guys and it is found in the shushugamushi triangle dun ashkar are present this is already dun guys and it can cause interstitial pneumonia i said most common complication of scrub typhus pneumonia which can lead to ards and it has a mortality rate quite high that is 30% guys if you die rest in peace so that is rip guys Okay, so indentic typhus. What is important, guys? It's just this rickettsia conori wala thing, guys. We have already done. This is due to tick. We have already done. Man is the accidental host, guys. See tick you can find in the. Uh, do you see find? And man is the accidental host, guys. And there is a ash card at the site of bite. And maculopapular rash, guys, on the third day. Okay, this is not so important, guys. Now coming on to the Q fever, well, guys. Q fever. It has no vector, no rash, and no ash. Can I get Q in? I am self satisfied. Well, thing, guys. Okay. It is due to coxella brunetti. Okay. Mode of transmission, guys. Due to inhalation of infected dust and aerosol transmission. This can be a future future. Ah, uh, means this can be a future MCQ, guys. So look. Okay. So what is this, guys? It can cause pneumonia like profile. It can. There is absence of rash, guys. And treatment is again doxycycline. So if we talk about the path point, guys, this Q fever, this causes a granuloma. Okay, so how can you remember it? Like uh, this is a uh, donut shaped granuloma. I think you can see. If you cut a Q, guys, that is a Q fever, guys. And this donut granuloma is also known as, guys, can you recall it? 
from your pathologist that is fibrin ring granuloma so this is important guys from fibrin ring granuloma wala thing now guys coming on to the will felix test okay so this will felix test so first important mcq that is asked guys it is a heterophile agglutination test from your micro knowledge guys this is important from mcq guys okay so basically this is due to sharing of common antigen so this is the principle of test okay between some species of typhus rickettsia and some species of proteus uh, proteus bacilli we know that we have proteus species like mirabilis and other species okay so we have three things ox19 ox2 and oxk it does not differentiate between epidemic and endemic typhus guys and it is of no value matlab where you cannot use guys in pox it is of no use in trench fever it is of no use and guys in the in the q fever it's no, uh, not used guys okay so uh, here it's useless guys so scrub typhus i said sk rub you can remember guys that is oxk the epidemic and endemic typhus guys that is uh, there are two typhus that is ox2 positive guys and this rocky mountain spotted fever class uh, imagine someone climbing in 1920s in the mountain that is guys for the first time that is ox19 and ox2 both positive guys so this is a table showing the two things guys you can see rocky mountain positive for both someone climbing the mountain with two foot that is both positive this two typhus guys that is ox19 wala thing positive guys if you can see here guys okay this scrub typhus is oxk positive guys pox non positive this is non positive guys pox trench fever guys and q fever none is positive q fever is everything it's negative guys it's like i am self satisfied so mujhe kuch nahi chahiye okay now coming on guys to the ashkar so where are the three places that that you see is car okay that is in indian tick typhus that is 50% of the cases rickettsial pox and guys it is scrub typhus guys and scrub typhus is the most common wala thing now rash guys rash can be seen in almost 100% means you know each of the cases rash can be seen but important is rocky mountain spotted fever where the rash is on the extreme it is so this is important from mcq guys okay and this lymphadenopathy guys this is seen in again in scrub typhus guys and again in rickettsial pox where you have for both ashkar rash and lymphadenopathy so uh, all the three things are present guys in this scrub typhus and pox wala organism guys so this is important basically this pox wala so this pox and scrub typhus that is mite wala thing guys okay so this mite wala thing has everything guys okay so rash is also there scar is also there lymphadenopathy is also there guys okay so this is important guys so see here i have come a table where a reservoir of most important things has been said epidemic typhus recall guys epidemic is provazaki endemic men wear a tie n that is murin that is men wear a tie that is guys typhi scrub typhus is shushugamo see india has a corona that is konodi rocky mountain one cannot climb if you have a rickets that is rickets shall e Let's see, box is guys pack a box of bag that is our carry. Trench fever guys is Rochelleuma or Bartonella quintana. Q fever guys is Coxella brunetti. Dragon colosis is uh, Dragon colosis medinensis. Okay, this is uh, some other things that has been given in the table guys. Okay. say rash the centripetal rash if you remember guys okay that remember the mnemonic cars mnemonic when you drive a car guys you need your hands and feet guys okay so that is car ca is coxalia also known as hand foot mouth this is this is very important from your micro knowledge r is rocky mountain spotted fever we already uh, talked about rashes at the extremities and s is the secondary uh, syphilis where you see bushke all end of nodules according to your dermat knowledge okay guys now coming on to the centrifugal we have other rickettsia guys okay if you talk about cephalocaudal means it is start either on the face or behind the ear and then it proceed down guys that is measles which is also known as rubella and german measles which is known as rubella okay now coming on to the rash affecting palms and so guys this is the same thing that we have talked just with syphilis guys you can have genital ulcer history coxsackie virus there you have hand foot mouth this is rocky mountain start at wrist and ankles guys okay by spread but spares the face guys okay if you like it guys please do like comment share and subscribe if you like uh, uh, if you want any further topic please write it down guys please join the telegram group i'll be posting in the pdf around 20 30 mcq related to rickettsia that will help you reinforce your knowledge of rickettsia guys please join the telegram channel please like comment share and subscribe to the channel happy learning guys